structure has an integrity and energy will always take the path of least resistance. You see, any structure creates the movement. If you think about uh, an aqueduct, or even if you imagine being at the beach and you dig a little stream down to the ocean, you will see the water will flow in alignment with how you have dug that path. It will always flow from the highest point to the lowest points because gravity is placed on the water and it will never break that structure. Unless you break the structure, it will always just flow along that same structure. It will always flow. See, structure has an integrity. Now, you are like that water. You are in the current reality, just like that water. You are flowing forward through time. Time is like the, the pressure of gravity on you. However you flow in life is actually based on how you've structured your consciousness. You will always take the path of least resistance based on structure. Structure has integrity. The way that you structure your consciousness is the way your life will flow. The goal of every structure is for an action or movement to occur. That action or movement shows you what structure that you're in. What's important is to understand this, really understand it, is that you'd never get angry at the water for flowing in a certain way. You would change the riverbanks. And, and so you never get upset at yourself for flowing in a certain way. You must change your riverbanks. You must change the structure. See, a structure is anything with two or more points working together. It is held together through tension. Tension is, is really important because tension always seeks resolution. So if you think about our stream, it is held together. It has water, which is movable. It has uh, riverbanks or, or the edges of the stream that you have dug. And, and then it also has gravity that is um, acting on the water. So it, water will always flow to seek equilibrium because if it's at the top of the hill, there's tension or pressure on it. It wants to seek equilibrium. It wants to flow down the hill. And this is the same with you. In your life, you are able to set up the right structure. You're able to actually realize that time will act on your structure. And if you focus your consciousness in the right way, you'll flow to where you want. It's very, very simple. In fact, there are three different structures that we can be in. The first structure is a stuck structure. This is where there is no tension. You're at equilibrium and all you're doing is just is stuck and stagnant. You know, you're just there just like a pond. You're just there. There's no there's no tension. It's, you, you're just there. You're not moving in your life. You're not moving towards anything you want. And it, life's just stagnant. So that's the stuck structure. And I want you just to visualize it's just like a, you know, a pond. It's not really moving. It's just a small body of water. There's no movement. And what we all know, if, if water's not moving, you know, it starts, it starts to smell. It starts to, you know, go rotten. Nothing can grow in it. It, it, just, it just sits there, stagnant. The, the next uh, structure is an oscillating structure. And this is uh, like a swing. If you push or put energy, so imagine, you know, like a father pushing his, his daughter on the swing. And, and, and as he pushes his daughter, the daughter will um, swing away and then eventually swing back. So again, gravity is applying itself on this structure. If the, if the, the child is um, at one end of the swing, will always flow back to the other. An oscillating structure is based around a fulcrum, right? The top of the swing is, is the point. Most people's lives are like this. The fulcrum is their set point and they push themselves forward only to come back. We call it a yo-yo diet. I see this in, um, in people's financial abundance. They wanna be financially abundant, but all they do is they go forward, they make more money, then they raise their expenses and they come back. And then they push, may make more money, then they raise their expenses and they come back. And they're just going nowhere, right? I see it in their freedom. I see it in their life. I see it in their purpose. They take some action and then they pull back and they take it. And they really don't get anywhere, you know? It might seem like they're getting somewhere from the outside, but not really. They're not really moving forward towards what they want. They're really just going back and forwards and and, uh, and it, their life is like that oscillating swing. The last structure is the flowing structure. And this is just like, a, you know, a car or a, a skateboard or a ball. When you, when you put energy on it, it just moves. And it moves to wherever you put it. So if you kick a soccer ball and you kick that ball, wherever you kick it to, it will roll to. 
And that's a flowing structure. It just says that is where it should go and it flows. And it's just like the water. The water flows downhill to wherever you've dug the structure, it just goes. That is the creative structure. When you're in the creative structure, you focus on where you're going and it flows. It just flows to where you want. And those are the three ways you can have your consciousness. Most people don't know this. Most people don't know that the secret of the secret is actually structure and tension. And that if you want to have a life flowing to what you want, you don't need to fix yourself. You're absolutely fine. You can have everything you want just the way you are. You must realize that energy will always take the path of least resistance. Structure creates that path. And you must learn this and you must realize that structure has integrity. If you want different results, you must change the structure. Very, very important.